Everyone's heard the phrase, you are what you eat. But if you're living with carcinoid syndrome, it isn't just about the food that goes in, but what the food does in the body. People with carcinoid syndrome, which is caused by a type of cancer called carcinoid tumors, may find that the symptoms caused by their disease can be affected by the food they eat. These symptoms, including dry flushing, a redness of the face, neck, and upper chest, diarrhea, and abdominal or stomach pain, can be disruptive to patients' daily lives. So what exactly happens when food enters your body? The human body is like a living chemistry lab that uses biological processes to break down foods and beverages into nutrition, hydration, and energy. Through digestion, food turns into nutrients that the body absorbs into the bloodstream and sends to the rest of the body. For people with carcinoid syndrome, certain foods may trigger reactions that can make their symptoms worse. For example, hot spices contain certain substances that can irritate the lining of the stomach and intestines, causing foods to move more quickly through the digestive tract. This means that food is not properly digested and can lead to looser stools, or diarrhea. Hot drinks increase the temperature of the blood in the mouth, which circulates to the rest of the body. This increases the amount of heat in a person's body, ultimately making flushing symptoms worse. It's helpful to eat smaller meals throughout the day rather than large meals, as large meals can overload the digestive system. Patients with carcinoid syndrome may have more trouble breaking down food, so it is important to limit the amount of stress placed on the digestive system at one time. Smaller meals throughout the day may help patients with carcinoid syndrome more easily digest food and efficiently absorb nutrients. Understanding how food works in the body and can affect diseases like carcinoid syndrome can help people living with these conditions avoid foods that could worsen symptoms. It's important for people with carcinoid syndrome to talk about nutritional considerations with their healthcare team. To learn more about the science of food and connect with other patients who have carcinoid syndrome, please visit facebook.com slash carcinoid connection.